Okay, so let's go ahead and carry on um, with this um, door frame sort of windowed. So let's go ahead and first of all get rid of these edges because we don't actually uh, need them yet. And we're going to have to go ahead and move this edge. So what we're doing now is basically we're trying to get these edges that we already have and move them to the frame of this window. So the first thing you're going to do is select this guy and make sure that it goes all the way around. So I'm just double clicking those edges to make sure that it goes all the way around where we need it. Okay, so it does now. Let's go into our side view. Let's go ahead and move it. Okay, so I'm just trying to line this up with the um, outside edge of this uh, this guy. And here, if you notice the edge that we already have that we want to line up with our window frame is not really going to work for us because um, it's for the bevel of uh, this door handle. So instead what we're going to go ahead and do is actually go ahead and make another extrusion here. So let's go ahead and add in a loop. That's not going to sort of interact with the mesh that we have up here. And then let's go ahead and delete this uh, this face here. Okay, and let's go ahead and do the same thing on the bottom. So let's go ahead and add in a loop here. Delete that guy. And then let's go ahead and select this uh, this strip here, and let's go ahead and extrude it. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and snap it to um, the top vert. And then let's go ahead and make sure we go ahead and merge these guys. I'm just selecting those merge vertices and hopefully they'll snap up where we need it. And this one does. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on the bottom. So first I'm going to go ahead and move this. So snap it to where we need it. If it would do that, that'd be great. It doesn't want to, so just going to do it manually, select them vert, merge vertices, merge vertices. Okay. Do the same thing on this guy. So this didn't want to merge. Now it does. Okay, so let's just go ahead and smooth it to see if we got any issues. And we do inside here. So in here, I think we've got a, a face. That's why it's freaking out a bit. So let's go ahead and check that out. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Okay, and we got this face in here that we don't need. So I just deleted that. And let's go ahead and fill up this hole. We could do it with the, possibly with the fill hole in the mesh, but I'm just gonna do it quickly this way. Okay, come on. And it's taking longer than it should have. <laughs> For some reason, it doesn't want to work. Let's just go ahead and try this one more time. There we go. Okay. So now this should smooth the way we need it. Well, not yet, but it's not freaking out. And we got the same issue in here. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Fix that as well. So I'm just going to delete this face. Delete that face in there. Let's go ahead and extrude this edge out. And then merge the verts. Okay, so that's great. Let's go into our side view and this is actually lining up already. So if yours doesn't just select the loop and move it over. Okay, so our top edge is lining up with the top of the window as well and this is lining up with that as well. So now all we got to take care of really is this uh, bevel. So let's go ahead and uh, add in the loop that we need. So I'm going to add in one here and one on the top end of this curve. And I'll do the same thing on this top half. Okay, and I'll do the same thing here as well. And it's not going to mess up anything, so it's great. I'll do the same thing on here and same thing here. And then we're just going to have to go ahead and select them vert, and move it up. Okay, do the same thing here. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and on the bottom as well. 
Okay, so that's great. Now if you smooth it, as you can see, it's pretty much the right shape that we need, apart from the fact that it, it, it's um, smoothing too much. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to add in a loop here, so that will hold its shape better. This one doesn't really need one. Uh, that should be fine. It should be fine. We'll add one here. should really add one here in the center as well, just to make sure. Okay, so that's a little bit better now. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and select this trip. Go ahead and extrude that and give it some thickness like so. Okay, so that will give us our, our actual sort of uh, hole that we need to cut in. Now let's go back. So this guy again, extrude it and give it probably like a minus not point not one. Nah, it's gonna to be too small, not point not five. Now nah, let's go ahead and give it a not point one. And then extrude it again and do the same thing. So we get a double. Minus not point one. Okay. So then this will hold this shape quite nicely. Let's go ahead and um, add in two loops in here. Okay. And we basically got our window frame cut out. All done. Now what we need to do next is do this sort of rubber grommet that goes around the, uh, the uh, outside. And that should be fairly simple. What we're going to do is select probably this loop and duplicate that face. Where is my duplicate face? Like that. So, make sure we delete the history. Okay, let's go ahead and find it. So, I'm just going to Shift B to get this out of that node. Shift B again, get rid of this. Get rid of, well, that's fine because that's our actually actual door. And now, all we got to do is I'm going to go ahead and center the pivot. Make this a little bit smaller. Probably somewhere there should do the trick. Give it some thickness. Like so. And if you go ahead and smooth this, there's our rubber grommet. Okay, and we're done. Um, we can go ahead and add in the uh, some uh, a little bit of a supporting edge, maybe. But on the actual um, in the actual case, this um, is actually smooth like this, like the actual sort of rubber grommet thing or whatever this is meant to be. Okay. So that looks about right. You can scale it up, scale it down, make sure that it's um, all good. And now I'm just looking, trying to see if this So I'm just trying to line this up just fine with the uh, with our window there, okay? Probably scale it up a little bit more. I mean, we could uh, we could probably go ahead and just uh, make this really thick, and that way. <clears throat> so I'm just going to get rid of this uh, middle loop. Go to vertex mode to select all of these guys. And make this a, whoops. Wasn't very good. Let's go ahead and try that again. Okay, so make this thicker. So it will also uh, go through the front. I'm in the back, sorry. And let's go ahead and move this guy. Scale it up a little bit more. And smooth it. Okay, and now we're just going to go and add in a loop in the center. So it's not going to go completely flat. Let's see how that's looking. Okay, so that's pretty good. 
And let's go ahead and just add in a loop here and a loop here. See how that looks. So it will hold its um, inner shape. Okay, so that looks great. There's our window. And if you wanna go ahead and add in a sort of window plane for this, we can actually probably uh, just make a plane. So let's go ahead and do that. Or it can even be a, well, we'll just use plane for now. Turn on X-ray. Okay, like so. We could add in a couple of edges. So here and there and there and here, just to uh, make sure that this lines up a little bit nicer for us. Okay, just moving these guys up just to make sure that it sits in the uh, sits inside the frame. We can also give this thickness if you want it to, um, but basically we would just sort of. Uh, apply a shader to this that's like a glass so we can either leave it as a plane or we can go ahead and give this a thickness because in reality this even this glass would have a little bit of thick thickness so probably like that thick just give it a loop okay so here and there, do the same thing on the bottom half. And we got our glass finished as well. Let's undo that, we don't need that one. And we need one more here. Let's get it and smooth it. And isolate. Okay, and there's our window piece. I'm just moving it a bit closer to that side. We would go ahead and give this a. Uh, we'd go ahead and give this a uh, shader. So we can go ahead and uh, you can just make a lambda for now. Double click it to bring up, and then get it, pull down the transparency really low, and then go back to your hyper shade, and just assign material to selection. You can even name this to be glass or whatever. Okay, that's a glass piece. And you could um, make it a little bit less see-through for now, just for your own reference, really, that you, it's there, you've done it. Okay, so you can play around with the transparency of it a little bit more. Okay, so our window is all finished. So let's go ahead and turn this into a group as well. So all this will be inside our door. Okay, and this is actually the door right, but we do have the door original saved there. So we're gonna go ahead and scale this in the X minus one. Okay, and we can go ahead and select this group. Zero out the translate, and there's a door finished. Okay, so we have the left side, the right side, let's go ahead and and this right with the window and we have a door finished ladies and gentlemen so I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far and in the next couple of parts we'll probably go ahead and tackle the uh, top or the front or even the back of the case so I'll see you guys in the next part